Some companies are really forcing people back to the office. It's really mandated. These are the days you can't, if, even if you want to work from home on Wednesdays, that's not possible. You're in the yeah. office, um, you know, very inflexible. And the workers are sometimes just conforming and just saying, okay, well, that's still pretty good. I get one or two days at home. Um, mm. Some are getting the complete, the drop boxes. And um, even some of the big tech companies are just on a phone with a, the, a Google today. And, you know, some of the, they have to get back to the office and things like that. And yeah. Apple have even come out and, and said it. So I think maybe we're in this transition though, where the work, even though there's a global talent shortfall, all the companies are figuring out what still works for them and some are going to shift back to old ways a lot more than the drop boxes of the world. But it's, it's going to take a while for people's confidence to, to leave the companies that aren't doing offering enough flexibility, right? Because people don't just all of a sudden get up and, and quit their job. I know there's this talk of great resignation, et cetera, <laughs> yeah. but I don't really see that. I still feel like everyone's very much sitting on their hands and, um, yeah, people, are, uh, are, if they're getting headhunted and offered 50% more salary, yeah, they'll go. But a lot of people are, are still apprehensive to, to switching jobs if they're not offering flexibility, for example. It's yeah. still very early days. Oh, and I think that's a beautiful observation there is that we in Australia, we are more stubborn, if you will. Why would you – more loyal. Why would you change jobs just willy-nilly? Really, uh, if, if, if your job is fine, why would you mm. change it, you know? And – Plus, there was this thing, we've just been through a pandemic together with your colleagues, with your bosses. Um, and of course, there was JobKeeper, which meant that you actually had a stable income uh, in, in many jobs. So that means you actually had a good pandemic. So you don't feel resentful against the bosses. So why change then? You know, you want to repay um with your loyalty, in, yeah, in okay. a sense. I think that's deeply Australian uh, in, in nature. It's interesting. I had a client some years ago, this before COVID, and she was telling me how she she had quite a senior role with one of the big uh, consulting firms, and they had a you know a, a desk free policy or whatever they call it, so everyone was hot desking, yeah. and you had a cubicle and a tray or something. And but she said that you know as as a new person entering the organisation, she needed to. Um, you know, she needed to work out who her points of contact were throughout the organisation in order to get things done. You know, it's really difficult to get to know people and you never actually know where they sit. There's no actual area for finance and, you know, there, there's no sort of particular spot you go to sort of just to to find those people. She said it was really, really destabilising. Um, and, and then she said she reflected on the, the you know, they had sort of lunch and learn type um type yep. uh, activities and, and uh, consultations and whatever. And they were a lot of them are around the mental health um, impacts of not having a desk. 